Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, in my last video, I shared the parallels between Moses' quest for freedom and justice and the plight of the people of Gaza. Today, let us look at the story of Jesus the Messiah, son of Mary, peace be upon him, also known as Isa ibn Maryam in the Holy Quran. In a world often overshadowed by conflict and strife, the essence of humanity shines brightest through acts of compassion and solidarity. It is in this spirit that I have partnered with Global Essan Relief to gather donations for providing korban meat to the resilient and steadfast Palestinians in Gaza. This partnership is not just a humanitarian effort. It is a profound expression of faith and empathy, inspired by the timeless story of Jesus in the Quran and the unwavering courage of the Palestinians amidst the ongoing genocide and martyrdom. In the Quran, Jesus, a Palestinian Aramaic-speaking Jew from Nazareth, is a figure of immense significance, known for his unwavering dedication to compassion, sacrifice, justice, and faith in God. His story transcends time, serving as a beacon of hope and a reminder of the power of faith in the face of adversity. Jesus' journey was marked by profound sacrifices and acts of love for humanity, embodying the principles of mercy and benevolence. Similarly, the people of Gaza today are living testaments to the spirit of sacrifice and resilience. Despite facing unimaginable hardships and ongoing genocide, they continue to stand strong, embodying the very essence of resilience, courage, and perseverance. Their struggle is not merely a fight for survival, but a testament to their unwavering faith in God and the unyielding human spirit. The plight of Gaza is a call to the global community to unite in compassion and support. The ongoing genocide has left countless families in dire need of basic necessities, including food and water. Many Palestinians became orphans or childless overnight. By partnering with Global Essence Relief, we aim to provide korban meat to these families during this critical time, ensuring they have the sustenance needed to endure and persevere against the fascist, Jehanim Zionist state of Israel. Our mission is deeply rooted in the values of empathy and solidarity. Just as Jesus the Messiah demonstrated boundless compassion for those in need, we too must extend our hands to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. Through our collective efforts, we can offer them not just sustenance, but a glimmer of hope and the reassurance that they are not alone in their struggle. It is crucial to distinguish between the ancient Israelites of biblical times and the modern Jehanim Zionist state of Israel. The ancient Israelites, as described in religious texts, were a group of people who followed Moses and later established a kingdom in the historic land of Israel. In contrast, the modern Jehanim Zionist state of Israel, founded in 1948, emerged from the Zionist movement, a political and nationalist initiative that began in the late 19th century when Austro-Hungarian Theodor Herzl, who was an atheist. Zionism sought to establish a Jewish homeland after the Balfour Declaration by Britain on the 2nd of November 1917. While the Jehanim Zionist state of Israel identifies culturally and historically with the ancient Israelites, it is a modern political entity with its contemporary dynamics, agenda, and policies. Understanding this distinction helps in recognizing the complex layers of historical and current geopolitical issues surrounding the Middle East. Furthermore, the origins and heritage of the Palestinians can be traced back to ancient Hebrews and other Semitic peoples, like Arabs, who have inhabited the region for millennia, including Jesus' time. Historical and archaeological evidence suggests that many of the inhabitants of ancient Israel and Judea remained in the land through various conquests and transformations, gradually evolving into the diverse populations present today, including Palestinians. Since October 7, 2024, more than 40,000 of those innocent lives identified have been lost, the majority of whom are women and children. Those are unidentified dead from the rubble make up a total body count of more than 200,000. The recent Israeli military operation in Rafah further adds to the death count and list of martyrs. The story of Jesus in the Quran is one of love, trust, and enduring faith. Miraculously conceived by the Virgin Mary, also known as Maryam ibn Imran in the Holy Quran, Jesus, out of love for his mother and by the will of God, spoke as an infant to save her from being wrongly accused of fornication and being stoned to death 
as per Mosaic law and Jewish custom. The beautiful words he uttered while in his mother's arms were And that basically means Jesus declared, I am truly a servant of Allah. He has destined me to be given the scripture and to be a prophet. He has made me a blessings wherever I go and bid me to establish prayer and give alms tax as long as I live and to be kind to my mother. He has not made me arrogant or defiant. Peace be upon me the day I was born, the day I die and the day I will be raised back to life. That is Jesus, son of Mary. And this is the word of truth about which they dispute. It is not for Allah to take a son. Glory be to him when he decrees a matter. He simply says it be and it is. Surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship Him alone. This is the straight path. Surah Maryam, chapter 19, verses 30 to 36 of the Holy Quran. Despite facing persecution by the Jews, particularly the Pharisees, Jesus remained steadfast in His mission as a prophet, embodying the principles of love, sacrifice, and justice. His story resonates deeply with the current situation in Hazza where countless lives are being lost and families torn apart. Yet, in the face of this immense suffering, Palestinians continue to hold on to their faith, drawing strength from their unwavering belief in a just and merciful Creator. Just like Jesus, who was lifted by angels into heaven and saved from the pain and humiliation of crucifixion by God, Palestinians also entrust their faith and salvation in God's hands. Inshallah, God willing, may their day of salvation come soon and those involved and are complicit in this genocide are brought to justice. Their resilience mirrors the endurance of Jesus, who despite the trials he faced remain a pillar of hope and compassion. Palestinians, through their perseverance, reminds us all of the profound strength that lies in faith and the unbreakable spirit of humanity. Our partnership with Global SN Relief is more than just a charitable endeavour. It is a pledge to stand with Palestinians, acknowledge their suffering and support them in their hour of need. By providing korban meat, we are not only addressing their immediate needs, but also sending a powerful message of solidarity and compassion. I invite everyone here to join me in this mission of love, mercy and hope. Your donations will make a tangible difference, providing nourishment and a sense of community to those who have lost so much. Every living Palestinian today is potentially a martyr given the ordeal that they are continuously being put through. Do we not want to feed a starving martyr before he or she is called home to our Lord? Imagine the rewards that awaits us for feeding just one. Just one cow can feed between 800 to 1,000 children. Your generosity can be the lifeline that brings sustenance and hope to families in Gaza. Together, we can honour the spirit of Jesus' teachings and the resilience of Palestinians, fostering a world where compassion triumphs over tyranny and fascism and humanity stands united in the face of adversity. Despite Eid al arriving on the 17th of June, the fundraising campaign will end by tomorrow, the 12th of June 2024. 
Nonetheless, despite the Jahannam Zionist state of Israel blocking humanitarian aid from reaching Palestinians, Allah judges us by our intentions and just like the Palestinians have faith in God that they will one day be liberated, so should we have faith in God that our brothers and sisters in Gaza will receive this much needed sustenance from our donations. To donate, if you are seeing this video on my Instagram or TikTok, go to the link on my bio and select Korban for Gaza with Firdaus Chia. If you are seeing this video on YouTube or Facebook, click on the link which can be found in the video's description and comments section. Please. Share this post with others so that they may know of this mission that I'm embarking on and that you can earn the rewards for sharing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to me on my YouTube channel at Shah Herald, that's S-H-A-H-E-R-A-L-D, and Instagram and TikTok at Ferdaus.chia, that's F-E-R-D-A-U-S dot C-H-I-A. It is free to subscribe, only takes a second, and it signals the algorithm to push my content out for more people to see. In these challenging times, the story of Jesus in the Quran and the plight of Palestinians serve as powerful reminders of the enduring power of faith, compassion and solidarity. Through our partnership with Global Ehsan Relief, we can make a meaningful impact, offering sustenance and hope to those in desperate need. Let us come together inspired by the timeless teachings of Jesus and the remarkable resilience of the Palestinians to create a better and more compassionate world. Your support and generosity can light the path towards healing and hope, making a profound difference in the lives of those who need it most. Before ending, allow me to leave you with some inspiring words from the Holy Quran and our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace and blessings be upon him. In Surah Ali Imran, chapter three, verse ninety-two of the Holy Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal, the Mighty and Majestic, says, "You will never achieve righteousness until you donate some of what you cherish." and what you give is certainly well known to Allah. In Sahih Muslim, Numan Bashir reported Prophet Muhammad sallallahu peace and blessings be upon him, as saying, The similitude of believers regarding mutual love, affection, fellow feeling is that of one body. When any limb of it aches, the whole body aches because of sleeplessness and fever. Sahih Muslim 2586a Book 45, may your kindness and charity be a continuous blessing to others and be a continuing flow of good deeds for you even after you're called home to be with your Creator. Amin. Join me in this mission of mercy. Click on the link to donate. Stand with Gaza. Stand with humanity. Together, let us be the change that lights the path to a brighter future. End the genocide and free Palestine.